What's good, everybody? This is your icon, Deshaun Wesley Basquiat. Do not forget that. Uh, you already know, like today, when we come to my podcast, you know we be talking about some good things. So today, I just want to shout out my Hall of Fame icon, pioneer, Ashley Icon, because I'm dressed in all red. What you call it? I'm dressed in the blood today. So Ashley, shout out to Ashley Icon, because I'm feeling your vibe today. But, oh, uh, cool about that. Let's talk about who we got here today. Mmm. Oh, baby. <laughs> Not sweet like sugar, but ooh, tastes good like honey. Mm -hmm. I got my honey Balenciaga here. Now, okay, I have to break it down because honey is like my kitten gay mother. So she's like, Yeah, I have I'm a many things to you. <laughs> 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 my kitten gay mother. Uh, you know, I, you know, all that other jazz. So I would love to introduce to you the Voguing Phenom Honey Balenciaga. Hi. What? Good. Hi, son. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> so, honey's my mother. So, every time we talk, and it's giving like, you know, mother son tees. It's my kitten gay mother. So, bendicion. Bendicion. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. Uh, you know, <laughs> baby. Yeah, you know he was fluent, right? Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you ain't know he's fluent. Okay. Sometimes you need the youth to put you in your place. Oh, my. Who? Who? What you mean? That's no. why I'm your mother. I get to show you the new things in life. Uh, by the way, <laughs> we should shift along with the generational change that be happening. No shot that I needed me a kitten gay mother and I got me a honey. No, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, so aren't you a kitten gay mother to someone else? No, I'm a kitten gay father to somebody. Who? Uh, oh, I can't oh, talk about, about that. Like an older icon. Yeah, older, I, that's what I'm saying. They, older, I, I want to, I want to have that conversation right now. That's from a back in the day conversation, oh, and baby, it's gonna bring wow. up some traumatizing things. You want to live in the past? No, I don't. I'm here Shitting. in 2020. <laughs> 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 so y'all already know how this interview is going to be. So let's get things straight to the point, honey. What's good? You were in my hot seat right now. What's going on with you? How you feel, number one? I feel good. I feel good. You know, the new year is starting up and it's time to make some new goals, some new business ventures. And, you know, you got to step it up every year. So that's what I'm I'm going to do this that this year, definitely. Well, we are going to talk about everything honey right now because I, I guess in general, people want to know, like, where did honey come from? Where, where did the honey phenomenon start? Like, I know, you know, child, because I've been a part of this whole ballroom shit for a long time. So when it's stepping, a lot of people don't know Honey La Beja. Yeah, no Honey Balenciaga. <laughs> they do not know Honey they La Beja. They don't know Honey. <laughs> honey La Beja was a brunette. Girl, a brun <laughs> she was a brunette. What you mean a brunette? I had, I was like, I had dark brown hair. Oh my gosh, you really did. Yeah, but I didn't have like, like a bunch of like full hair in the back or anything. Mm -hmm. It was just straight bang, bitch. Like... Brown hair. I looked crazy. Uh, by the way, so Honey La Beja, before we talk about Honey Balenciaga, that y'all know, Honey La Beja. You know what's Honey La Beja was like a baby when I met Honey. Like, that but was a baby. That was, the I was that, that was a big thing. Yes. But honey La Beja was a big thing back then. Tell me because, about Honey La Beja. Okay, so Honey La Beja, <laughs> right? So, um, no, but on like, on some serious, like, on some serious shit, um, the House of La Beja didn't have as many members, and you know it wasn't House of La Beja. You know you can you can. I don't want to say. Okay. What's like the opposite word of like die? <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Like it didn't die. Like House, of, it just you know they took a break. They didn't yeah. have that much time in the barroom scene, and they like they didn't have as many members. So like when I came into the house, no shade. I I woke it up. I I made it a big thing. And um, so when you say like again, um, well, during that time before you joined my beige, did you hear about other houses? Absolutely. So what made you not want to join other houses before going to La Beja first? Because I'm really big on energy mm -hmm. and I'm really big on family. And those were the first few people that I met when I came to the barroom scene. And um, I actually already had a close connection with a trans woman that was already in that house. Mm -hmm. And of course, with like at the time, like I had a father figure, which was um, another La Beja and a couple of other father figures that I looked up to in the house. So like I just became under their wing, basically. And those people are, of course, um, Lego. Those mm -hmm. people are Monster, mm -hmm. um, Lala. Do you know Lala? Yes, I do know Lala. That's my Dark mother. Lala. That's, That's my mother. mother. Really? For eons. I've never That's known that girl. Lala was your mother. Me and Lala, like I cannot... 
I cannot go a day without talking to Lala. Really? I cannot go a day without talking to Lala. That did not I have hit to call her. I have to call her every day and be like, Ma, what are you doing? This is how my day went. Like, it's therapeutic for me because, like, she relates to me in a sort of way and she also can just ease me down because, you know, I go through with a lot of different shit. But now we're talking about Lala Dumo Versailles, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. By the way, and again, so people can research Lala Dumo Versailles, who we're talking about, like, again, I met Lala. She's actually not in ballroom like that, so you I can't know. really research her like well, that. Well, shockingly enough, well, you know, I learned about Lala because one of my house kids wanted to do something with her collaboration. I was like, who is Lala? And I looked at Lala. I said, oh, yeah, I like how she do her shit. So. Well, we had a talk um, recently, and, like, we told her, like, I told her, I was like, you need to come back to ballroom, like. You know, like, you're not doing as much as you should, especially with the talent that you have mm -hmm. or the beauty that you have. Mm -hmm. And, um, and yeah, so she came back to bar and then she joined um, Demir Versailles. Um, but, yeah, that's my that's my mother. But, like, Honey La Beja in itself, like, that's what started it all. Like, that's what started the spark. Like, when I first stepped on stage, like, I fell in love. And Honey La Beja was, like, the epitome. No how shit. old were you? How old? Oh, when again, I walked baby. my first ball, I had to sneak in. I was like 18. What ball was it? Uh, it was at Gramercy Theater. And I, I almost won. It was Last Battle, Me and Omari. Do you remember that? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, yes, I do. Yes, it was I Last do. Battle, okay. Me and Omari. And they oh, were oh gagging. God. They was like, who is this white bitch? Like, da 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 da. <laughs> I'm like, Miss Thing, like, I'm Latina. Uh, like, yeah, da, da, da. Let, like let I had to clear that out. Yeah. Yes. I had to do a little cha 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 on the stage just to let them know, like, girl. <laughs> I'm a part of this shit, girl. <laughs> yes, Stop playing with I'm me. I'm a part of the community. <laughs> but but no, um, yeah, you Gramercy Theater. I was 18 when I sneaked into that ball. Was that your first ball? That was my first. My first mainstream ball was actually Ballroom Throwbacks. Yeah, I forgot what it was, though. It, I don't think it was Coldest Winter Ever, but it was. I had to wear like a cheerleader outfit. That was my first ball. You won't remember it, trust me. But Ooh, it was no. so long ago. It was like four years ago, yeah. Okay. Maybe okay. five. Okay, all right. I, I guess I asked because... um. And genuinely, certain people think you're younger than what you are, honey. Absolutely. By the way, honey is 21 right now. This is why we got drinks, so we don't want no situations going on there. Come on, 21. What I said, I've been waiting for this child to get up there. What I said, well, excuse me, no, my yeah. mother. <laughs> Respect me. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but... um. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah, I'm grown. I'm a grown woman with okay. grown pussy. I mean, I guess because the scene, she just said grown pussy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I guess because people see the, the the things naturally, you know, honey, you look like you're 15 to us. I know. And I guess but you know when we were people, seeing you performing, we thought you were younger than what you were. People think I'm younger than when I am because of how fast I came up in ballroom. Oh, yes. Okay. If you if we're keeping it real, okay. If we're keeping it real, go ahead. I started my business and I went well, on my business. Well, my business. I am my own business, mm -hmm. but I started my journey in ballroom when I was 17, 16. That's when you learned about it. That's when I learned about ballroom. That's when I first got introduced to it. But Who before did you that, see first. So before that, I was a classically trained dancer. Oh. So I trained for 13 years, 13, 14 years, ballet, jazz, contemporary, all of it. Mm. I went, I was looking for, because at that time, money was really low. Like, we didn't have any, any like, money. It's no shade. My dad is an immigrant. My mom was a stay-at-home mom. But, like, we, we, we managed it. You know, it was like they were still supporting my choices in the industry. But it was hard to manage that with the amount of money that you need to be in the industry. Mm -hmm. So I learned how to Vogue for, for a year. Where? At the door. So I was... So I know, shout right? Out Everyone, to the door. Shout out Healthy. to the door. I'm about to see you soon, but oh my gosh. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so um, okay, so I have I was classically trained for 13 years. And then I was looking for a dance program because I got accepted to an acting program mm. when uh in the summer. But it was a scholarship. They loved my talent. I always wanted to be an actor, but we couldn't afford that program. Mm. So I never got to venture into that industry, that part of the industry that I've always wanted to venture in. So I ended up looking for a dance program because that was like the second best thing. And um, I trained at the door. If anyone doesn't know what the door is, the door is a nonprofit organization that supports housing and like medical care for anyone in the community, but specifically for the LGBTQ youth. It's in New York. It's called The Door. I remember the address, 555 South Broom Street. Oh, my God. 
I used to attend the door when I was a kid. <laughs> it's like literally like it's <laughs> honestly young. it was honestly the best yes. thing when I was growing up. Like I learned so much, especially like because I wasn't only learning Vogue at the time with right. the door. Like I was still being classically trained. Mm. So the ballet teacher at the door when I took the dance program was like, I think you would really, really love Vogue on Fridays. Really? Yeah. So some random lady at a class. A man. Oh, man. Oh shit. Some <laughs> random lady. No, no. Yeah. Some random like Anthony. Person did, like, Anthony Rodriguez. He oh, worked. Shit, he Anthony. worked. At, he worked at Madonna and everyone. Yeah. He okay. was like, I think you would love Vogue. Really? And at the time, I was very wow. questionable about like my. I wasn't questionable my sexuality, but I was questionable about my femininity. Hmm. Mm. And um, once I got into that Vogue class, Justin was teaching it. Monster was teaching it every Friday. And I didn't know it was a whole community. Like, I didn't honestly care about any of the lessons he taught mm -hmm. at the time. Not to be rude, but I was just so infatuated with the style. Mm. So I learned the style for a whole year. And then I realized, I was like, wait, there's a whole community to this. So I learned how to Vogue for a year. So a whole year you never came to an ball. Never nothing? came to a ball. Never met any of the girls. I was just constantly being trained, 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 trained every week. And, and not even just Fridays. I would go to Justin's house and, and Vogue in his Vogue, hallway. Yeah. You know, that's how you learn how to Vogue, technically. Yeah. Like, you don't always Vogue in a class. You yeah. learn how to Vogue at home with the girls. Mm -hmm. So um, I learned how to Vogue with, like, uh, with Justin for that amount of time. And after a year, I came to my first ball. And... You know what's so funny? The first person I fell in love with was Michaela. Really? That was the first person I recorded. Out of my first ball, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, who is this bitch? Wait, the person that you battle a lot kind of today. My was rival. A, a rival. Kind of like the person rival. you you battle today when you hit up there as like, you It's know. crazy how that comes back to wow. you. That was the first girl I've ever saw Vogue. Mm. And because I was walking into the ball and then they called out Michaela. And Michaela was just doing so many flips. <laughs> and then she spinned into a dip. And I was like, this is just, this is magical. Like, I love and it. you wanted pieces of and it. And I wanted pieces of it. I was hungry. Mm -hmm. As much as I loved Michaela, I looked, for me, I, like, I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> 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 and I want what I want, you know? And when I looked at Michaela, I was like, I was, I was stunned. I was like, I was in love. Mm. But... I also wanted to beat her ass. Oh, shoot. What, y'all had issues? No, I, she didn't know me. I wanted to beat her ass, meaning, like, I wanted I wanted a piece of that. Oh, you wanted because a piece of her on she, the middle of the floor. Yeah, you wanted to beat that she, ass. When okay, she came you. out, I was like, why is the crowd reacting like this? Like, oh, okay, because so she's doing all these things. I could do that, too. Mm, well, I'll tell you, y'all did meet on the middle of the floor <laughs> at that latex ball. And it as you look at that video between you and Michaela. I I fucked her up, bro. Listen, y'all, to be honest, y'all both fucked each other up in so we many did. different ways because you can look at we how did. the comments and the crowds and the people have went both ways. There's literally people, no way you can select whether or not either or one. Agree. Like, like, if you look at, like, at the video, you step over, then Michaela look at you, and then she does this, and you do that. It's like y'all were back and forth with it. With, you know what like, it was? Mm. I also, for me, like, ballroom is more than just me stepping on stage. Mm. I actually study people. I study their movements. I study I study when they dip. I study the count they dip on. I study when they catwalk. And when I saw Michaela, I was like, okay, Michaela's gonna catwalk. Michaela's gonna spin, do a duck walk, do a backflip, do a backflip. I already knew what she was gonna do. That's why when you see me on stage and I, I was doing this, in my head, I'm like, okay, I know what she's gonna do. That's why I backed, walked over. I did a back walk over it while wait, she was whoa, in whoa, the whoa, back. Whoa, 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 Honey, you kind of reminded me. You reminded me about me <laughs> because I like to study hoes. Because if I'm going to battle someone, you got to know your competition. Yes. And if you don't know your competition, how they move, you don't know how you need to move against your competition. Now, maybe because I said too much. But people don't understand. Don't even like, know that right now. People don't understand the formula of it. I feel like people think it's just five elements and it's never just five you elements. No. You but I've been in four or five element situations. So, like, yeah. I, I, well, this is why I keep telling everybody I'm such a, a battle cat right now and I can exist with then and now with kids today because it was never about five elements. I can give you a five element, but still wear that ass out. Anyone can give you five elements, Check. honestly. Check. If you know the five elements, you can get the five elements. But for me, it was about studying the body that was moving. And that's why every time, like, 
That's why when I got out after my tens, I was the first bitch to stand up that night. No bitch was wanted to stand up. I was like, why is everyone scared? I already know how all y'all move, so let me battle y'all. Well, that's the narrative. Again, you what made, well, I guess, what made Honey to what Honey is today is because you pushed the narrative of what was missing. Yeah. Girls are scared to come out first. Girls are scared to battle other people. Girls are scared to do that. This is why, like, chow, you've been And I didn't understand that. Like, when I came out, I was like, bitch, you should be, you, what? Oh. Do that, girl. I mean, you you stopped me. I was trying to go to the side, girl. <laughs> Why you like, jeez, I let you do his thing. <laughs> but I just, I'm like. Uh, I thought I had something on my lip. I was no. Like, what? Uh, shit. Chow oh, has uh, something no, behind this lip. motherfucking esophagus. <laughs> no, I'm feeling insecure. Like, no, you. Oh, shit, honey. But, you, you, um, you're good. No, go ahead. No, like, that's <laughs> how I was like. It takes more than just the five elements. Like, you need to really study how people move and study how people maneuver. And that's why I was like, I studied Michaela for so long before I mm. came to the lakes, but latex ball to battle her. And I knew how to battle her. So it was like, no shade, when you're battling Michaela, you got to keep it calm. <gasps> Something just popped up, honey, that we need to talk about. And that was the same. And I'm the letting you know, that's the formula. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Honey, we got to talk about something. But... I'm going to go back to this clip. You know, and we're going to pull this up so everybody can probably see it as well, too. What clip? I was battling Star, and she was in all red, I and I was in all you black. Know. You know, I was waiting for the moment, honey, you know what's to so talk funny? about Yeah, tell me before I ask you this. I'm sorry, because I was ready for this question. What you mean you were ready for this question? I knew you were going to ask this question. No shape, I've been waiting for no years. Shape. No, pa. No tell shape, me. son. Ah, no ah, shape, ah. son. Star fucked you up. You think Star fucked Star me fucked up? Star fucked you up. And you know why? It's because she was on some next level shit that night. It was the antics. It was the voguing? antics. What's she voguing? What's Vogue? That's where the world is missing. Because if we got to ask what's Vogue. We, <laughs> and mind you, let's go. No, let's talk about it. I'm going to pin it right now. When I was battling Look at the Star, girls, though. The girls now, the girls are that, now adding hip hop dances to their Vogue. The girls are now adding different uh, techniques to their Vogue and different styles. So it's like... Now that, like, now there's a new era of Vogue, bitch, what is Vogue? Like, that night, that night I was looking and I was like, okay, Deshaun is doing the elements, but Star is performing. It's no shade. And that's because also I live for the dumb shit. <laughs> she was doing a lot of dumb shit, and it was like, damn, this bitch is carrying. You like, so New York because you live for the <laughs> dumb shit. I live because, for the dumb shit. Well, again, this is why, again, this is why strategically as a Vogue, you have to sit and know your competition because I know Star is going to be doing the like, dumb for shit. You, that's for you, for you? That makes no, like, make, make sense. That makes sense to everybody else they're going to live for. For the, you, I would do the same thing Star did. The dumb why shit. Would I, I wouldn't do the dumb shit. Why I, am I no, going to try to compete? If I'm battling you. Oh. If I'm battling you, I'm saying. Oh, I see what you're I saying. I would start doing the dumb shit. I would start doing the breakdowns because, because you, you know I'm not a dumb. You're not a dumb shit type of girl. You're an element type of girl. You're drama. You're old school drama. No shade. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. You're that girl. You're the but girl. That, listen, but still, this is why, okay, this is why we ran into this conversation real quick, is because at the end of that clip when I was battling Star, Star was in red. I was in black, the mother, <laughs> as you're supposed to have been snapping for. I wasn't. Well, at first the end of, all, of the first battle. Of all, first of all, the, you wasn't my child at the time. Were you? Oh, you want to gag? You're correct. You, was you wasn't my, my child mother. at the time, so I couldn't live, you know? Mother. But we were still cool. <laughs> at the end of the clip, I'm cool she was everybody. going. I know. At, she, at the end of the clip, she was going up for Star Hard Body. I and was. at the end, the camera pans to the side, and me and Star battling, and she's about to go in for Star, and Star didn't even do the dip. She didn't. And you know she what's so funny and about that? What? She fucked that up. No, she did. She did. She said, ka, 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 and she made it seem like she was gonna get into a dip. But she fooled me. By the way, I'm not taking I love nothing, being from, uh, nothing away from Star because that is my bitch. That's no, my we're not talking cool. bad about yeah, her. Yeah, nothing bad. I'm just saying about the situation because this has been a, a debating conversation about it all. And I don't care how people we feel. We had this conversation but no shade, we, did. we did. And no shade. And I feel like, no, honestly, Awa, she was fucking the legends up how she was supposed she to was. do. She was doing what she had to the do. The only battle that night that she had that was ever questionable Maya. was with you. You and my... Well, no. Just I feel like Maya pushed her out. No, because you kept fucking everyone up. So it was just like, it was deserved, you know? Thank At you. that point, it's like, it was deserved. You well, kept carrying Well, again, them. baby, do you know still to this day, I still talk and debate about people about, like, how you do with Michaela. I don't debate, I won. 
I don't debate either. I, I don't debate on it. I what? won. I won too. I, I don't debate. Oh yeah, you did. Yes, I did. That night. Yes, I did. But that's debatable. And that was a, it's not debatable. You can never <laughs> debate an icon like me, baby. Look at me. Remember, I still beat everybody's favorite still to this day. You did. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> and I, that's because it's I, everybody think it's about a Vogue or they do tricks and antics. When you know how to play the fucking game, you can get a bit. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. You got to find either the formula to it or you got to find your own formula because it doesn't work for everyone, you know? I agree. And um, I don't know. I just feel like I brought a different type of Vogue or style or element or just a feeling in general to the ballroom scene. Like, even just with my Vogue. I agree. And, um, yeah, I found my formula and I stuck to it. Well, I... I and it worked, clearly. It I made work. a business out of it. <laughs> it did work. And I'll even get into this conversation now as we should over to shift on over to a la Beja to Balenciaga because, you know, there's going to be a conversation. By the way, we're going to have this Balenciaga conversation. Uh, I have to let people know do you want to talk about it first or just wait it after? Because again, we have to talk about Honey Balenciaga, what the people know, what people see right now. And again, I I didn't know about the Balenciaga scandal. I'm aloof to it, so I don't know what's going on. I mean, and honestly, like, like I'm not always keeping up with like the drama of the industry. Like, you know how people always drama. You, yeah, you know how people keep up with like the celebrities and the Kardashians and all this mumble jumbo. I literally. Do not give one single fuck about it. Like, I'm literally posting and sharing my story, my life to people, my outfits, like, on social media. Like, I'm not going to sit there and, like, make controversy and sigh with people because, like, I'm not I'm not doing that. So... This is where the... This is where the name change comes in. So I was like, you know what? It's time. I don't want to be attached and I don't want to be stuck with just one name, Honey Balenciaga. Because I want to transfer over to other fashion brands. I want people to know me. I want people, I want to work with other brands. I want to be international. So that's why my name is changing to Honey Gonzalez. And it's not going to be Honey Balenciaga Can I anymore. I tell you I'm not mad at that? I'm not mad at that either, honestly. Because I feel like I'm not stuck anymore. Mm. You know, I'm not... I'm not stuck with one brand branded name. And now I get to venture off. Like, I have all these designers on Instagram and all these people that want to work with me. And I guarantee you that some of them probably don't want to work with me just because of my name. Well, you make it very clear. And, like, this is why I say I, I support you in that because same product environment. Yeah. I was known as Deshaun Visu for a long time. And that keeps you and stuck. Even like Deshaun Basquiat. Like, well, even that. That's what's like, so bad about Ballroom because like we're inspired by so many fashion houses. But when we carry that last name for so long, it's like, well, for us specifically, because we're, tell me. we're in Ballroom, but we're also in the industry. Mm. So it's like carrying that last name kind of keeps us in a box. Well, this is why we have to even do in the, the the work that we have to do because like it's sort of like you're being put in a place to do some work that you don't even know about that you have to do and yep. let others know what you're doing as you're it doing it. It takes a lot of work. It does. So, for example, I, I agree with you on that one because I was Deshaun Ibisu for a long time and I realized what I need to do is implant myself as, you know, my own individual because you attach yourself to this house and yeah. you have this association with it. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing with it because some people get far from being that. Yeah. But, but specifically it's, it's, for me, like, again, the, the the things that can be deciphered because you have that name and I yeah. get it because I had that before. This is why I'm Deshaun Wesley now. Yeah, this that's why, why I love that. Not like now. You know, you're, I've always you're been Deshaun Wesley. <laughs> you're your own brand within ballroom and within the industry. So it's like, I feel like it was time for me to finally change that name because the whole world knows me as Honey Balenciaga. Well, before you change that name, can we celebrate Honey Balenciaga real quick? Bitch, you be going off. Off, 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 off. <laughs> and people like that. We, and I, I guess I, I'm, for me as an onlooker as well too, Honey, you have something about you that people just love to see and see you move and hear you talk. And, uh, you know, we from New York City, so I live for the Banshee <laughs> side about you, son. I love that Banshee aspect. Kind of character, you know? I love it. I mean, so I guess we've been so attached to Honey Balenciaga, although, no Sade, Honey La Beja did the work for Honey Balenciaga to sit there and do... <laughs> and No, no, no. Honey Balenciaga did the work too. Hear me honey out. Balenciaga because did the Honey work. Balenciaga would not be nowhere if La Beja did not go. We have to keep it real. Tell honey La Beja, yes, yeah, she got booked for one or two gigs. Not one. I'm not talking about gigs. But I'm I mean, talking about the work. In general, the I'm work, talking about the work. The, the you time, did, the name. She did the work. If the work wasn't put in and Honey Balenciaga carried the work, 
No? You think, honey, okay, I'm telling <laughs> I you. I don't know. I feel I'm like, being okay, honest. I'm going to be honest. You got to like, start from somewhere, baby. Uh, yeah, you definitely start from somewhere, but I'm going to be honest. Tell me. Because you can't tell me right now that honey Balenciaga will be doing the same thing honey LaBeja was doing. Would she? Repeat that question. Would honey Balenciaga be doing the same thing honey LaBeja is doing? No, because exactly. honey Balenciaga will be far ahead of honey LaBeja. Exactly. So who did the work? Myself. Honey LaBeja. No, honey LaBeja did not do the work. You don't know why. You want to you know why I say that? Mm. I was a part of a house, LaBeja, that was very privileged in the industry for some time because Ooh. of just the name. Well, this is why I get to the conversations but, about... Oh, talk to me. But the world has never known me as Honey LaBeja. That's the thing. The ballroom girls have known me as Honey LaBeja. So when I think of the work, I think of the work that allowed me to be recognized by the entire world. Not the work that got me recognized by just a thousand people that show up to a bar. Oh, baby, I got something to tell you. That work that put for the thousand people to get you there will make sure that Honey Balenciaga okay, will always right. be solidified. You're right, you're right. And Honey I would never take anything, no done. shade. Honey Balenciaga is doing the motherfucking shit. What I'm saying is, so what, I, what, I, what I'm celebrating about you is, is that I love that you've done the work prior before because you did the work so you It can... was just an elevation. Yes, you No, know, that's elevated. why I'm like, you okay, elevated. so as long as you recognize that. Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> was a... No, because I just feel like Honey Balenciaga just became like next level. Like once that name came out, I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking with, I'm not fucking with just that simple shit. Like I agree. I'm making this a big thing. I'm making this a worldwide thing. When I came out as a Balenciaga that one night for the 401k situation, that was crazy. The world lit for that. Like the world shook, <laughs> not the world shook, but my fans shook. There was like, bitch, you went from this person to the next. And it was an evolution because after that, Honey Balenciaga was undeniable. That's after insane. the after the gigs, after the brands, after all these things, because I was trying so hard to like disconnect Honey La Beja from Honey Balenciaga. Wow. And then now it's the same pattern. Now I'm trying to disconnect Honey Balenciaga from Honey Gonzalez. Honey Gonzalez. Well, then that's what I'm saying. This is why I said what I said. You never forget about the work that you've done prior before to get you it. Well, Ooh. that that put in the shit that which you have to do. Because again, I have to look at Deshaun Latex, chow. I have to look at Deshaun Ivisu, chow. I have to look at Deshaun Lambin, chow. And I look at Deshaun. You in a lot of situations. Lot, but guess what? One house changed three times. I never left my spot. That's what I'm saying. But what I mean about oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but what I mean is, like, again, the work that you put in prior before, because, honey, I'm sure people want to know your formula. People want to know how you started. And the only thing they're seeing is Honey Balenciaga, and that's not who you are. You are actually Honey Gonzalez. Yeah. So, like, you know, Honey Gonzalez and the work that you put in, in, in that, you know, the La Beja put the work in the between. The Balenciaga's keeping the work going right now, but you realize in the entity that you stand in right now. That's why I live for you. This bitch is like spray. No, it's like the camera's like I cut live. to you. And then I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you controlling the camera, bitch? <laughs> okay, really quick. I have to run into this conversation, this topic real quick before we like get out of here. Because again, I love that you're moving in your own entity as you should. Yeah. Because like, you know, you are in a space right now that a lot of girls out there would love to be. And it came quick. And it, it came really quick. did come quick. And it, it sometimes comes to you when you least expect it because some people, even those that you genuinely love, will be completely mad at you because you're getting a, you're in a space that where you are, but you didn't ask for this. It came to you. That's because that's why I actually moved to LA. Ooh. Yeah. Because I felt like the people around me in New York were becoming so stuck and so fixated with being only in ballroom and just being, just having this like animosity towards me because it came quick. And I feel like I had to separate myself from them because if I stood there for so long and if I continue staying there, even being a part of ballroom, I feel like I would have been stuck. Hmm. There was, there's no evolution there. There's no, I feel like I'd done what I did in New York. I met the New York girls, you know, and it's time to evolve. It's time to take that talent somewhere else that would not only appreciate it, but utilize it and respect it. And that's why I came to L.A. because I feel like, like I said, it's time for an evolution. And I feel like if you're going to be stuck in the same place doing the same shit, then, bitch, what's the point of living? Like, mm. I, I, me, myself, like, I need to evolve. I need to be the next top bitch. In my own in my own world, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to beat someone. I'm trying to beat myself. 
I so that. I'm like, yeah, I, I support that. Like, yeah, you know, so that's why like, it was just like, you need to move away from all that shit that's keeping you stuck in New York because as much as I love ballroom, it sucks you in and it keeps you stuck being that person that only wants to walk $500 categories every single fucking week. No, like I would love to walk 500 categories every single week, but who are you outside of ballroom? What money are you making outside of ballroom? What business and what infrastructure are you making outside of ballroom? So that's why I was like, it's time to step that up. It's time to make my name a business. It's time to make my talent a business. And it's time to utilize that. Because not only am I classically trained, but I'm a voguing diva. I, I can tell you, like, a lot of people don't look at it like that. They don't. Honey, and they uh, want everything handed, handed to, to them. them. Well, this, and, and this is why I said about the work, honey. This is why I go about the work. Because people want stuff handed to them. Yeah. And that's why I yeah. say I, 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 I completely, like, I, I live for you despite you my fucking gay mother. But, like, I live for you because, again, you can see you put the work in. And I know some people may disagree because of, like, how shit goes on and how people get picked or whatsoever. Fuck all that. What I'm saying is I support the fact that you see the difference that happens within you. You know your talent. You know your drive. You know what sparks your interest and you already know that like in a space where you already exist you can go outside of it, out of it and still exist yeah because people love to speak of manifestation but they don't act upon their manifestations yes. so it's like why are you telling me that you want to be someone and that you want to make this a business or you want to use Vogue to get you into the world that you want to be in but you're not working for it. How many people have you had that conversation with you so far, but still not doing the same exact many, thing? Many, many. And I'm exactly, tired. I'm because so tired guess of who's it. having that conversation too? What do you mean? And guess who's actually doing something? This is why they're coming up to you and asking these questions. And it's and these are the same people that actually did not like me on the show. Mm. The same people that on did Legendary? not like me on the show on Legendary are the same people that were asking me my formula on how to become this person. And it's like, I'm not doing much. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not doing much. I'm being completely myself. And it's... it's it's And it's working. And some people see themselves in your shoes and they want exactly. that. Exactly. And they want that. But you can't fit in my shoe because we have different formulas. And that's why I feel like it's also different because, yes, I do recognize the privilege that I have in the industry because the color of my skin. So now let's get into this really quick conversation because I feel like even when it came to Legendary and it came to that episode where you had took a little uh, 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 break away and everybody made it so much of a big... Did you have the same contract as everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> everybody was like, oh my God, contract. And honey got this contract, that contract. I, I... Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning. All right, wait, hold up. We have to stop this right now because it's a little bit too good. So good that... I think I'm gonna have to break this up into two different parts. Uh, and I say we have to catch that show in like a good two weeks. So keep a lookout for it. But next week, we are going to go on to Ask the Icon, where you sent your questions right on through to me and I go ahead and I answer them because I wanna know what you wanna know. So get ready for Ask the Icon next week and check it out here on my podcast. And you can go to YouTube, Spotify, Apple to check everything out and also go to Deshaun.show where you can get a full list of everything that's going through. You feel me? So you know the vibe. I'm up out of this and y'all know how I do this. I gone out. <laughs>